Hello everyone, it's Abra with you. Today I will teach you how to remove background from complex images. For this tutorial, I have selected two images. The first image is in front of you and the second image is this one. We will use different techniques to remove the backgrounds. Let's start work on the first image. Go to your layer panel, create a duplicate of the background. Create another new layer in the middle of that one. Fill it with the bright colors and lock it. Why I'm using this bright color? Because it will give you a better visualization while you are working on the image. Let's use the pen tool to remove the background around this coat. If you don't know how to use the pen tool, please see my another video where you will understand how to remove the background using different techniques. Uh, yeah, the hairs are starting. So let me go with that way. Select it, press delete, you will have this one. Now we will remove the background using the background eraser tool. Let me select the background eraser tool from here. You see a couple of properties are appear over there. First property is the continuous sampling. When you take this sampling, you do not need to release your mouse. You continuously have to remove your background. The second is at once. You took the sample at once don't worry about that one you can release your mouse couple of times but please make sure your background is meeting your image from left hand side and right hand side if your image is not meeting the background and having such type of situation you have to resample it again and let me go to this again and the third tool is background swatch from for this you have to select the background swatch take the sample and it will automatically come over there however we will not use this option in this tutorial the all three options have the limits discontiguous contiguous find edges discontiguous means when you will take the sample the photoshop will sense the background between the hairs and the background whenever you will bring your cursor on the face or another color, it will remove that too. Contiguous means the Photoshop already have senses what background you want to remove. Doesn't matter where you keep your mouse there, it will only remove the background. Find edges means whenever the Photoshop will find another color, whatever sample you took, after that if Photoshop find another color, it will stop over there. I will, sh I will teach you also how to use the find edges tool. However, now I will go with the contiguous and sample at once. Let me zoom in this image and start work on it. Let me take the sample. And start work on it. See how fast it is. Just make sure there is a plus sign in the middle of the brush. You should move that plus sign. On the background you want to remove especially in between the hairs otherwise it will not remove let me go here, 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 here. and remove it Let me remove it, this one, this one, this one. You can further zoom in and can remove. Yeah, 
there are a couple of still there slowly slowly we have to remove those Mm. Yes. This one, this one. This one as well. okay and let's see what is there and go up what is there remaining let's remove 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 this all I think it's pretty much done like such type of details you can use another brush and can do further work just to remove such type of things so let me change the color of this layer let me unlock it let me just this a fast way yes see this image now it's pretty much clear how complex it was and how easily we remove the background from that image now let's move to the second image in this image just press E from your keyboard just make sure the background eraser tool is selected from here there are again three properties from here now first of all I will select the find edges come down take the sample go back to the E and see this find edges and come here and remove the edges from there as well So this is this tool is always better where you have such type of sharp edges. Now again go back to your contiguous tool. Take the sample. Select the brush. Zoom in and start removing. See what is happened because the sample is now we have taken the sample before it was the key was not working properly see this we took the sample and then go to the E and it will start removing now what type of difficulty you are facing over here now you will have a better idea why I have selected the bright colors between those layers in this layer I am doing work on background layer but I don't know what is happening behind the ears. So you do not have an idea what is happening. Are those uh, background is removed between the hairs or not? So let me press Control Z, go back to the layer, duplicate the layer, move it up, put some bright background. lock it and work on it again I will go with the find edges will take the sample first and we'll remove the edges see how clear it is Now I will do it the same here. Now 
now i'm going back to the contiguous tool let me select the edges from here select e and see what will happen see it's pretty much clear let me zoom in for better understanding see this is now pretty much clear i have an idea where i have to put the plus sign to remove the background let me see if i left something there oh no i have to take the sample again because i release the mouse okay let's go here see this i release the mouse what happened control z take the sample again press e and then work you know what is happening now yes with this way down small arc this, this is a problem when you don't have much background touching the object we are going to remove yes it will create problem now so you have to be very careful in that case okay pretty much done let me remove the other background fast in fact i can use this magic wand tool to remove the background and from here from eraser make it bigger and remove your background sorry there let me make my brush smaller i'm not giving attention to detail because otherwise this tutorial will be super long just to purpose is to teach you how you can remove the background on complex image in a professional way okay here you go so this is little bit otherwise it's pretty much done let me move it to white background and see so this is a way so there is little more hairs are remaining so it's okay so this is a way to remove the background from the complex images if you have questions please feel free to write it down and i will give answers accordingly please do not forget to subscribe if you like this video please hit the like button as well thank you very much